everybody. It is time for Halloween. That means it's time for my favorite fucking Zelda game of all time. Ever. And I'm going to voice act every NPC I fucking talk to. Because I want to be embarrassed. <laughs> That doesn't look like it's anywhere close to fucking loud enough. Let me just do... Maybe? Maybe that's not louder than me by a fuck ton. Or maybe it is and I need to get better fucking highs. I, I apologize, this is gonna be touch and go. It's like one in the morning and I'm recording this and I'm stupid. Well, not stupid, but... Psychotic. I don't think is the right color. My randomizer shit didn't bleed over into the ROM. I mean the cartridge. I love this game so much and its music. This is another game that's really weird that I fucking love this game because it scared the fuck out of me as a kid. Like, I can legitimately Metroid Fusion and this, I had nightmares about. Like, I had nightmares about the SAX showing up where it wasn't supposed to, and Fusion, and fucking, like, not being able to close the game, and I had nightmares about a certain part of this game that <laughs> we're not gonna see for a while. Well, so the, um... There was other shit that scared the shit out of me, but I mostly had nightmares about a specific scene. Also, this is gonna be a little bit weird, cause, uh... This is a Nintendo 64 game, and I'm playing it with a DualShock. Well, a 6-axis. Which, by the way, did you know 6-axis is one of those words that is like race car, where it's the same front and back? If I remember right, that moon scared the shit out of me as a kid. The sound of my childhood. For this, I'm gonna constantly forget I have to use the analog stick and can't use the D-pad. We're gonna put in my name. As you can see, a file from a randomizer, and then this. Where we begin? I'm not gonna narrate this or read this. And please don't make fun of me for my racism characters. I'm trying to figure out what I think Skull Kid would sound like. Not me, that's for damn sure. Hey! Listen! Listen! Hey! Listen! Master, your batteries are getting low in the Wii mode. <laughs> oh, I just got a bad idea. And that's never good. of time, defeated by falling off of a horse. <laughs> I 
sorry. I'm fighting the urge to do something. And it's very hard on me. <laughs> Damn it. Performance anxiety is a bitch. You two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Why the fucking go into the Joker then? Huh? This guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I want to go higher for that, but like I'm afraid I'm gonna get too loud if I do. Oh, what a pretty ocarina! Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I wanna see. You can't tell. What would we do if you dropped and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. It hurts when you touch it. But, sis... Why can't I try it out, too? Ronald Weasley, give me my fucking ocarina back, or that is ten points from Gryffindor, you cocksucker. That was the voice I was gonna give Skull Kid. That was fucking Snape from Harry Potter. Ronald Weasley. Diamond jump. <laughs> I want to match, like, the pitch of his laugh, but I'm afraid to. Get in some loopy. This is a speed trick. God, this feels so fucking weird. I guess I'm just way too used to the 3DS version, which, by the way, if you ever want to play this game, play the 3DS version. It, like, it improves so much of the, the, like, comms of the 3DS version, like, far out why playing this one over it. I always wondered why Link couldn't, like, do that in Ocarina of Time. I mean, I know now it's like he's less skilled in that than he is in this, but like, I like those animations better. By the way, this game came out only like a year after fucking Ocarina of Time. As far as I remember, I could be like bullshitting you on that, and it could be like two years, but I'm pretty sure it was like a year or like half a year. It was win this game. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word said to it. There's no point in writing a thing like that. So I did you a favor and got rid of it. <laughs> oh, boo-hoo. Why the sad face? Hello, everyone. I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come on now. Do you really think you can beat me like I am now, you fool? That's not Markiplier, but hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. It's me, Markiplier. Okay, not doing that one anymore. Yeah. Am I boring you? Oh no, not the father. Ben drowned. Your mom, Ben Gay.
That, that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking that way forever. I'm sorry that this is like fluctuating so much. I'm just like... It's a me. Hey, hey, Tinger. Hey, Tinger. It's me, Tinger. <sighs> Sorry. Push that. Hello, oh, oh, Skull Kid. Wait for me. I'm still here. Tails, you can't leave without me. God, I wish I had a better mic and was, you know, not being a dumbass and recording this. I'd like, what am I fucking... You. If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Why did I start to, like, okay, I guess that word just naturally brings liquid snake out in me. I've gotta do it once. Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy. Do something. Why are you looking at me like that? What? Is there something stuck on my face? Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Brother! Please, come on. A helpless little girl is asking you, so hurry up. Oh, Tail. I wonder if that child will be alright on his own. This does not fit her at all, and my voice is not suited for these kinds of things. I got one in mind. And then, then he sounds a little something like this. <laughs> Shit. So, um, that stuff back there. I, uh, apologize, so just take me with you. You want to know about that skull kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good. So then it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner. Or at least until we test. Mm -hmm. Or at least until we catch that skull kid. My name's Tattle. So, uh, it's nice to meet you or whatever. Now that we've got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press the C-stick up and I'll tell it to you. Hopefully you'll manage to get by without my help until then. Are you fucking kidding me? And then I took two steps and you... Now, I know how these I know how these work. Hey, if I call you, press that button right away. I can tell you're not very used to your dead use grub on here. Alright, listen up. And if you press and hold A as a Deku scrub while standing on a Deku lever, you can dive into it. If you wait a bit before releasing it, you'll want a shot of a flower. Press it again while flying to descend. Did you get that? No. Are you sure? One more thing. Press A when you're on the ground to perform a spin attack. Perform a spin. Spin. I'm not used to actually having to do this part because then I have a laser skip slope. You got deck now. It stuns enemies. That's all it does. Link. I will feed you and your child. 
Oh god, please. Oh, thank Christ. There you go. See, you can do it if you try. You can do it if you try. I don't need. You can Z-target people the far away. You can really do it if you try, Tony. I'm not gonna read them if they're just tutorial things. It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy. Almost like it could start crying any second now. How sad. Oh well. doing that a lot, and I apologize. <laughs> You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? <laughs> I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. Doing my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am, at a loss, and now I found you. <laughs> now don't think me rude, but I've been following you. For I am in the way to return you to your former self. I'm going into, like, fucking Igor from Persona. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. I'm just doubling down on it. In exchange, all I ask is that you can also get back... All I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should by no means be a difficult task. Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it to me before my time here is up. But yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I'm counting on you. Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. Gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the. Sorry, just thinking aloud. But three days? Even if we never sleep, that leaves us. That still leaves us with amazing 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for her. Go to the shrine near the North Gate. You'll find the Great Fairy in there. No. Yeah, you can hold to the Sacred Sword. Why is that my default? Why is why Snape just my default? Deep, deep default. <laughs> You can call me Deep Fold. 
like a guy in the Watergate scandal. Snake, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> oh no, the great fairy! I really kind of want to do a scratch from fucking Sonic the Hedgehog for her, but for ta Tattle, I mean. Young one, please hear my pity. I've been broken and shattered to pieces by the masked Skull Kid. Please find the one stray fairy lost in town and bring her to this fairy fountain. Why is that how I found out I can almost do Teddy's voice? I'd be very, very grateful if you did it. <laughs> That's not why. That voice isn't why I'm laughing. <laughs> Hello, Douglas. It's me, Mr. Dink. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, a Brendizi, don't just stand there rolling at the sky all day. Coin will get that joke. I hope you're very prepared for this unbearable bear of a battle. Why can I do that? I'm getting nervous because I heard somebody's foot hit the floor. I'm afraid I'm going to get yelled at for being too goddamn loud at 1 2. Is it 2 now? No, it's 1 35 in the fucking morning. The person who kicked down the door don't make you be too goddamn loud. That's the true horror. <laughs> I might do this first three day cycle and then just go to bed. Or at the very least, lay in bed till I pass out or something. And record the rest of this tomorrow. I have it all up in time for October 31st, also known as fucking Halloween. What was her fight? Oh, right. Yes, I already forgot that that's what I was doing with her voice. That's not the voice I was doing. It was like a higher pitched Igor that turned into Teddy at the end. Tassel, and you, young one of the altered shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that Mike. I thought that Mike was better than this when I bought it. I thought that masked child was helping me, and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. Tit. Yet. Sus. Sauce. I think that's the song for or the, yeah, I think that's the song from when you learn a new song in fucking Ocarina of <laughs> Time. The man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know of the skull kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's power, kind young one. If you are ever returned to your former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. I'm gonna do all of these. I 
Actually, I might not upload this on October 31st. I have an idea in my head of what I want to do, but we'll see if that works out. Hey, you see this kid right here? Yeah, I should have done a voice for him, I'm sorry. But it, we all know it would have just been this. Hey, look at this. If you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code. What's the code? I can't let anyone in who don't know the code. If you're not a member, they won't teach you the secret code. If you want to be a member, go see Jim in North Clark Town. Well, we've already met Jim. Now we just have to teach him a lesson. I cannot do CDI again, and I don't know why I'm trying. Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You'll have to pass my test first. Are you ready? Alright, line up, guys. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? These kids did not have enough MSG. I could get the twofer. Oh, you caught me. There's only four left. Ah, oh, you caught me. There's only three left. Ah, oh, you caught me. There's only two left. Ah, oh, you caught me. There's only zero left. Ah, oh, you caught me. Negative one children remaining. Only negative two days for him. Come to me, child. Ah, oh, you caught me now. There's only two left. Ah, oh, you fucking owned me. Now I gotta delete my own, my fucking Twitter account. Hey, you got me. That chicken's not going to help you, you little one. Hello there. Ah, you caught me. Nah, there's only one left. I don't remember where the fuck he is. Oh. I don't remember. Oh, why do we have to play these stupid brats in our games? Come on, hurry up and find them already. Only... 15 hours and 51 minutes left until the morning. Oh well. Why am I doing that? It's gonna take me to North Lockdown no matter what. Baby look, please. Do not do this to me. Hey, yo, Tony, fuck this kid. But don't, like, fuck him, you know? Just, like, you forget him. Hey, yo, Tony. Oh, no way, you finally got me. Mario. He finally got me, Mario. You are pretty good for a Deku scrub. If only you were human. Then I could give you an original bomber's notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? I guess not. Once we let some kid who wasn't even human join our ranks, and boy did we ever forget it. I mean, regret it. But I'll teach you the code. I can tell you only once, though, so pay close attention. Are you ready? 
34, no, 35, 1, 2, 1, 2, 4. The entrance to a hideout is in East Lock Town. 35, 1, 2, 4. 35, 1, 2, 4. 35, 1, 2, 4. There we go, I got it. E621. If you know the code, then you're a member, right? Okay, here you go. There's a lot of cool stuff at that telescope guy's place. Oh, one more. Round around on. And now... We quite literally, after this, play the waiting game. Blinky, please. God, all the times I've called Samus Sammy because of the fucking Metroid randomizer is, like, rubbing off on me. I can't believe I almost missed that. What do you want? I wonder how the astronomer knows this gold kid. I'm not leaving that. I mean, yeah. I'm not leaving that. I'm here for your shit, old man. Well, well, a strange-looking child has joined me today. Are you an old friend of the Bombers Gang? Hmm. Your manners are much better than those of your mistress's friend the other day. <laughs> That ill man troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon's chain. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze into the telescope? I'm not going to 100% this game. But I am going to do all the fucking fairies. I'm gonna try to do all the masks. It shouldn't be too, too difficult. I'm so fucking used to the randomizer, I got upset because I thought that was a silver ruby. Hmm. Did he see you? Well, that's no matter. Well, did you find the troublemaker? And that loud noise, what was that? Perhaps another moon seer has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how the troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock door, and that opens only on the eve of the carnival. Maybe he did a really big jump, or a frame-perfect trick to get up there. Okay, there is one thing I'm not going to do tonight, as a voice, and we're not going to meet him yet. Oh, uh, Babu. Hey, baby. Oh, why you do me like that? Yo, hey, baby. I'm a styling scarecrow wandering in search of a pleasant, a pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance till dawn. Shall we dance? Oh yeah, in that case, forget the time, let's dance. Hey, boo-boo. Oh yeah, how was it? Time went by in an instant, right? I'm still full of energy. If you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance until night. Ah. 
I keep forgetting that I can't use the D-pad to make selections. I'm gonna fucking nut in my own mouth. And you can't skip those. I'm not gonna repeatedly read it just because I'm fucking lazy. By the way, this was made using all the assets and the same engine as Ocarina of Time. In case you're curious. Oh, hell yeah! Oh yeah, what was it? Time went by in an instant. I'm just still full of energy. But outside it seems to have gotten kind of uh, dangerous. Yikes, I'm getting out of town. Take care. I know a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. Would you like to learn it? Oh yeah, now listen up. Seems that if you play that mysterious song backwards, you can slow the passage of time. And if you play each note twice in a row, you can move half a day forward through time. How's that? Pretty interesting, isn't it? If you learn a new song, come try it on me. Until then, I'll see you later, baby. I was gonna try- well, that- okay. I should clarify before I start this, this is not- I know that was Yogi. That was not an attempt at what I'm about to say I was going to do. I was gonna try and do Elvis. And then I kinda remembered, like, I don't exactly know what- how to do Elvis. Oh, you can do me any way you want, baby. Um, that was more of like an aged butthead. Okay. There's nothing left we can do. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. That's all you can say. Again, like if you if you if you see if you watch this and you want to play this game for yourself, please find a way to play the 3DS version instead. It it's so much better than this one, and that's not saying that I don't like this. This version is still good, but it like it blows the N64 one out of the water. How much? How much? I'm not gonna do the banker either. They speak telepathically. You know, if I could edit, I would do this, like, in a really creepy way. Like, I'd occasionally fuck with it and have the game fucking. This is the voice I'm not doing tonight. I'm gonna just walk to him first.
I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm getting the fuck out of here, Yogi. That's not what Poo Poo says. I'm getting the fuck out of here, Poo. Oh, Potter. It does seem that the moon is falling. Oh, bother. If I could speed this up, I fucking would. That's my mare. Right there. Coin, if you watch this and you don't get the two fucking vine sauce jokes I've made, I'm not gonna be surprised because they're kind of like dated as fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna be real upset with you. I don't think I can. Oh god damn it. Can I get there in time? Yes I can, because I've got a minute to win it. Best match. I'm sorry the quality of this is so fucking low. I'm not voicing her at all. Or him. I want that chest as quick as I can get it. I can buy more picnic baskets. Oh yeah, is it? And now for one of my favorite tracks in the game. It's time for the Carnival of Time, but it's also time for abject fucking terror. Don't stop now, look, you can get up there now. <laughs> Sis! Uh, Tail, we've been looking for you two. Hey, Skull Kid, what if you use that mask you're wearing back now? Hey, come on, are you listening? Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there, bring them here. Adam. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. Just imagine I yelled that now, in a feminine voice, and then, What are you doing to my brother? Brother. Skull Kid, do you think you're- do you still think you're our friend after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> Just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. Moip. 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 
Muy. 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 Fuck you. <laughs> You're already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? Even though it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. And I believe in my heart that a day will come when I shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please, take this. I am praying. I am praying that your journey be a safe one. If something should happen to you, remember this song. I think that's right. I don't exactly remember my bindings for the sequel in this. I apologize. The goddess of time is protecting you. If you play the song of time, she will aid you. Aid. Aid? If you play the song of time, she will aid you. Snap out of it! What are you doing, lost in memories? Get yourself together. Getting out of Locarina back isn't gonna help us. Somebody, anybody, cut us of time, help us, please. We need more time. I apologize, I keep trying to use the D pad. When did you get that instrument? Uh, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> 